Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Zesta Herbal Soap Skincare and Lifestyle. Do you want to know how to make hot process laundry soap? The type that you get profit? Then if you know you're interested in that, stick around and you will see how we will make this. So, so, so before we start, I would like to advise you to wear your protective gear, your hand gloves, your eye your face marks, your goggles, okay? Making hot process laundry soap is very easy and that is what I'm going to teach you now. These are my oils. I have nine liters of palm kernel oil. Then for my caustic soda, I used 300 and I used 1,599 grams of caustic soda in 300 and in 3731 mils of water for my soda ash it was also the same 1599 grams of soda ash in 3731 mils of water so let's start i'll first start by pouring in my my caustic soda which I've already fermented the night before. I hope you can see what is going on. It has mixed up properly. So next, I'll be pouring in my soda ash solution, which also have all the fermented. So the next ingredient I'll be adding You can see it's looking smooth You can see it hmm? You can see it It's looking very smooth I've added up let me mix properly so I'm going to go and get ready to cook this now I'll be back but if you don't want to cook as it is like this, it's okay. You just have to keep on staying. So, welcome back. I've been stirring this. I also added a little bit of color. Okay? Some people put their color in the oil. Some people put theirs after trace. I put mine after trace. At this stage, if you're not doing hot process, you can put in your perfume. But since I'm making hot process, I'll leave the perfume out until I'm done with the cooking. Then I'll put the perfume last. So now I'll bring this down and then put my fire on. Ouch! So you can use any source of heat you want. I'm using a stove. So I'll put the fire and come back. So I've gotten my fire going. Okay, so now I'm ready to cook my soap. Ah, the soap is quite much. The soap is quite much.
this is my cooking pot see if you want a half for sale okay ah. the soap has already started solidifying you can see it's boiling okay I'm still cooking my soap this soap is almost 25 liters you can see it it's almost done but I'll still keep on cooking soap down from fire you can see the soap has gelled I want to remove it from fire now I like to cool small then add my perfume then turn it into the mold my soap has cooled down and I'm about to add my perfume okay I've already added before so I've added my perfume I'll now stir it and then pour into my mold you can see it the color is beautiful right So this is our soap, oh. you see, it's hard, <clears throat> see the smaller one here. I'm beautiful, mm -hmm. I'm not so subscribed, mm -hmm. sorry, I'm going to cut it now. Welcome back, I'm going to unmold my soap now. My next batch, I'll just pour these pieces inside. That's the beauty of hot process soup. You always batch your pieces. Very smooth, no stress, and very pocket friendly. This cutter that you see is very, very cheap and affordable. And with this cutter, you can cut any kind of shape you want. Any kind of square shape you want, you can cut with it. Be it a hotel size, you can cut with it. Baking soap size you can, laundry soap size, all it depends on you. You don't want to adjust it to what you want it to cut for you. As you can see, very simple and easy to use. You're not using much energy. It's a machine that's doing the work for you. The only is just to push, and the pushing is not hard. It's easy and fast. And as you can see, cutting with this soap, you have little or no wastage. Okay. So, very strong and solid. See how smooth our soap is. Very smooth. Hey.